aging class 1 assemblage departments and welcome you back to another video. Today I am at Wellington Station for the inaugural class 196 introduction with West Midlands Railway, replacing those 170s. Wellington is located in Shropshire, it's a beautiful little station here, and the town itself is known for its walking. I don't know how, I don't know why, but it is. But on today, we are exploring the class 196s. They've been in production for several years. Due to COVID though, they are only being put into operation today. It's a very special day. Some good news, the train is already delayed by 20 minutes or so, um, which isn't a great start to its operation, but hopefully this is something that is temporary and, you know, they will be fixed for their full um, introduction. There's only one in service. This is the only diagram today, uh, but then for the next four to five weeks they will all be in service and they will have replaced all the class 170s between Shrewsbury and Birmingham New Street and the 172s between, between Birmingham New Street and Hereford. Sorry. The trains themselves, they are uh, two carriages and four carriages in length. Today's is a four carriage train. Just before we get on the 196, I will once again tell you um, to please like and subscribe. The channel has been quite dead, but hopefully more videos like this, especially with this class 730 introduction to you, more videos like this can be expected. But yeah, let's go and get on the 196. For the, the trains themselves, 2x2 two two seating, no first class. Plugs at every seat. There's one plug for two seats and one USB for every two seats. So good connectivity. Seats themselves are very good for modern trains. Um, the padding, it will get better, it will improve over time, but for sure short distance train, they are very comfortable and the inside is very light and good. The PIS systems are great, although no real time updating is annoying, but hopefully this is something they can add. And the tables, while small, are sturdy. The good toilets as well, which I didn't film, and the addition of Bike storage, which I also could not film, is a good addition to the train. Overall, the Class 196s are so much better than the 170s that they are replacing. The brand is on point, the seats themselves feel great inside, and I cannot wait to be travelling on them in the West Midlands very soon. Welcome aboard this service to Shrewsbury. The next stop will be Wolverhampton. So, my final impressions on the 196s. A great addition to the West Midlands Railway fleet. I think 
They will add so much to the line up to Shrewsbury and Hereford, reducing journey times and replacing battered old class 170s. Overall, I think this is the way to go for new trains. Let's hope the reliability is good. CAF civities don't have the best reliability options, but hopefully they've figured it out this time. Overall, great trains, and I highly recommend you take a trip down to Birmingham and test them out.